Hi everyone, Cody here from the ProtoCase team, back with another Proto Tech Tip. Today, I'm going to show you how to add drawer slides to your rack mount enclosure in ProtoCase Designer. ProtoCase Designer is our free CAD software that's fully templated. With it, you can quickly and easily create a custom enclosure, bracket, or panel with all of the cutouts, graphics, fasteners, and hardware that you need. You can instantly quote your design as many times as you want and order when you're ready for a team to manufacture your design. So, ProtoCase Designer has a ton of templates for you to start from, including L-shapes, U-shapes, consolettes, extruded enclosures, panels, and of course, rack mount enclosures. Rack mounts are designed to be mounted in a server cabinet. They can be affixed using flanges on the front panel or rack mounting ears. But rack mount enclosures commonly have sliding rails, also known as drawer slides, installed on the sides of the enclosure. Drawer slides are awesome for allowing you to easily pull the rack mount enclosure in and out of the cabinet without having to physically remove it altogether. We stock five different lengths of drawer slides here at ProtoCase. Check out the description below for a link to a website that has all of the important information about our stocked drawer slides. We covered drawer slides in a previous Proto Tech Tip, and we've got a link below to that in the description. Now, in ProtoCase Designer, you can create a custom rack mount template with drawer slides. Let's go through it. I've got my copy of ProtoCase Designer open. You'll want to make sure you're using an up-to-date version of Designer. You should be running on version 5.8.0 or newer. I'm going to click Start with a new file. Here you can see all of the different templates we offer in ProtoCase Designer. I'm going to expand the rack mount enclosure options. We have a few different rack mount templates available. Rack mount faceplate, rack mount with mounting brackets, standard rack mount, rear bend rack mount, and step down rack mount. Drawer slides are available on both the standard rack mount template and the rear bend rack mount. I'm going to select rack mount template. Here's where I can make all of my customizations, including enclosure depth, material, finish, and more. Now, if I scroll down, there will be a checkbox to add drawer slides. Once I check this box, Designer is going to add drawer slides to the left and right of my rack mount enclosure design, positioned so that the enclosure can be installed into a standard rack. One important constraint that you need to note, the minimum depth for a rack mount enclosure to have drawer slides is 16 inches. So if you enter a depth of any value below 16 inches, the checkbox for the drawer slides will go away from the template selector dialog. If I make changes to the rack mount enclosure, such as the height, front panel overhang, changing it to a full height chassis, or increasing the depth, ProtoCase Designer is going to change the location of the drawer slides automatically. There's no guesswork or shifting you'll have to do on your own. If you make a 1U rack mount template, it will convert the flat top rack mount, which means enclosure's cover will have no bends to it and the chassis will have an additional bends on the side. So, as mentioned earlier, we stock five different lengths of drawer slides here at ProtoCase. ProtoCase Designer will choose the drawer slides that work best for your rack mount enclosure's depth. If you need a length of drawer slide that we don't stock or you want a different stock drawer slide than the one Designer automatically selects, you can either contact your ProtoCase account manager or put a note on your ProtoCase Designer file. If you require a non-stock drawer slide, our team will source it for you at an additional price and lead time. Now, when I press OK, ProtoCase Designer is going to create my enclosure for me to customize. And as you can see, I've got my drawer slides on both of my enclosure sides. From here, I can customize each face as I wish by adding cutouts, graphics, fasteners, components, and other hardware. Once I've got my design to a place where I'd like to determine the cost to manufacture it, I can click Instant Quote to get an instant quote on my design. Thanks for watching this week's Proto Tech Tip. You can download the latest version of ProtoCase Designer at protocasedesigner.com. If you have any questions about drawer slides or another aspect of ProtoCase Designer, reach out to us. Comment below, email info at protocase.com, or check out the ProtoCase Designer form. We'll see you back here next week.